Hello, I'm Matthew Malcolm with Pacific Nut Producer Magazine reporting to you from the annual conference of American Pistachio Growers. We've had a great day and a great lineup of speakers, including Brad Higby from Tresse. They do a great job with mating disruption. Uh, naval orange worm is a huge problem, obviously, in the nut industry. There's some growers that might be thinking about incorporating it, they may be concerned. You know, is this putting all this pheromone in the orchard, is that going to maybe draw in the pest instead of deterring, you know, like, we don't want it in the orchard and there's a lot of neighboring orchards around that are also hosts of this pest, so what do you have to say about that? Well, that is a common misconception, especially when this mating disruption technique first comes to a, to a new industry. Uh, there are many that think, okay, you're, you're putting this sex pheromone out in the whole orchard and is that going to attract moths into my orchard from around me? And that is just really not the case. It doesn't happen that way. But for navel orange worm, we can say definitively that it does not happen because what we use for disrupting mating in navel orange worm is, is just the major pheromone component found in the female sex pheromone gland. So that major component by itself is not attractive. In other words, if you put that in a lure, put the lure in a trap, it would not attract moss into that trap. However, it does have biological effects on the males. It essentially um, short circuits their brain and central nervous system. So they are not able to respond to the natural sex pheromone uh, released by the female when the orchard is, is flooded with this major component. Great. To, to be attractive, we do, uh, we do have pheromone lures that are attractive to moss, but it requires adding in some minor components uh, to that lure, and then the it becomes an attractive, attractive lure at that point. Okay, well thank you Brad. We definitely appreciate any tool we have to control this pest. So definitely consider that uh, in, your, in your orchard management practices. I'm Matthew Malcolm, CaliforniaAgnet.com.